On this week's episode of Cooking with Clements, we are on the hunt for some delicious home cooking. So we're crossing the state line and heading into State Line Restaurant. Everything's homemade and it's so delicious. Homemade, delicious, and all in the family. What are up? Bob Wiest and Heidi Gruber bought the place in 2022, but the origins of State Line Restaurant in Greendale, Indiana, are a little less clear. We get conflicting stories on when it opened between we hear some people tell us it opened in 1952, some people tell us 1962. What is clear is that whether it opened in the 50s or the 60s, not much has changed since then. No, you can't do that. This this community will not be happy if you change this place. <laughs> Don't change a thing whenever so. we took over. And we're like, all right, we just made improvements. What's the vibe that you try to offer when, when people walk in here? Just friendly. You know, at home, home style cooked food, you know, treat you like family. You know. We get that a lot. They, people feel like they're part of our family because, for one, so much of our family works here, so they always say they just feel like, because we, we've made so many friends that are customers. It's, it's just, it's, it's interesting. And of course, every good mom and pop diner has those signature menu items that keep you coming back for more. All right, back in the kitchen, uh, Bob, it, it says on the sign out there, delicious home cooking. You're gonna deliver. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'm expecting big things here. Uh, what are we gonna be cooking today? We're gonna make our state liner extreme. It's basically a getta hoagie made with our homemade getta, couple eggs, bacon, and gravy. And uh, we make it with our Cajun getta today. Anything can be a hoagie. Okay, so we throw on the getta? Yep, and then she'll get the hoagie bun on, get it grilling, we'll throw a couple eggs on. Give that bun a flip. I feel golden brown and crispy right now. You're going pepper jack. Uh -huh. Oh, oh it's good. I'm a big fan. Nice and crispy. Moments like these, it's hard to be patient. Getta, top with the eggs. This right here is our getta gravy. This is something new we've been making. Oh, I know. Oh, just right on top of it. Yep. <laughs> it's like a volcano erupted and gravy came out. You gotta get the perfect bite. You gotta, you gotta get a little bit of everything. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Spot on with the spice, that pepper jack, the gravy has a little kick to it. The getta is just brilliant. That's amazing. And your mind just came up with this. That is a beautiful mind right there. Been saying it for years. All right, Layla, you got another trick up your sleeve back here. The Big Freddy? Yeah. Tell me about the Big Freddy. So it's just like your burger from Frisch's. What's the G-Boy? The Big Boy. The Big Boy, yeah. yeah. It's better. That whole, whole, whole. We got, we got tartar sauce Them on Them fighting it, words. Start with our burgers. Grab a couple down here. Throw them on our grill. We've got our buns in here. She moves fast. Got to keep up. You got to. Throw it right in. Uh-huh. The waiting is the hardest part. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with our tartar sauce, our homemade tartar sauce. My Aunt Jackie, she makes it. She's in the prep room back there. We got our lettuce. We throw some pickles on. I'm a big pickle guy. Here it comes. Burgers on. Get that middle guy on top. There we go. And there it is. Voila. The Big Freddy. I'm going to weigh 9,000 pounds, but I really don't care right now. The Big Freddy. That tartar sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's a real deal. That's good. People love it. Fine, I'll have another bite. What is it about this place that keeps you coming back? Well, I think it's the 50s ambiance and the food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the food, honestly. It's yeah. reasonably priced and it's delicious every single time. They're always good people you can talk to. I mean, I knew the original owners. Oh, really? Yeah, back in the day, so. It's always nice when you come in and you, you see families working together oh, yeah. in places oh, yeah. like this, and it takes the support of a community to keep these places afloat, you it know? It does. People love our food. They love they love the family feel, too. They, that's a big thing, like having another family take over. That was huge. How good does that make you feel that you've cultivated that kind of oh. environment? You've woven it yourself into the fabric of this community. Amazing. I love it. It's, it's, it's been great. It's a great community to be part of, anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're looking for a taste of the 50s, look no further than this place on Route 50.
We'll see you next time on Cooking with Clements. Can you help me eat this Big Freddy? Oh, say I she can help eat food, that's for sure, <laughs> huh? You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.